So in this video, we're going to make another NAND gate. And this NAND gate is going to be made with uh, NPN bipolar junction transistors. So the NAND gate is like the AND gate in a way, but the opposite. The output is inverted from what it would be from the NAND gate. So when all inputs are high, the output's going to be low. If any input is low, the output's going to be high. So it's the opposite of an AND. It has the AND gate schematic symbol plus a little dot there. And those dots usually indicate that we have an inverted uh, signal. And so we are going to uh, get to building it. So the switches are already on the board right there. They're already connected to the positive supply. So we got that taken care of. Now what we're going to do is start with our output. We're actually going to add an LED. So it's not on the schematic, but I'm going to add one. It lights up when the output is high because uh, you can see it ends at ground right there. So long lead the anode, going to the orange jumper, short lead the cathode to the gray jumper. Now, we have the uh, orange jumper. First, we're going to add the uh, resistor. So I'm going to grab a 220 ohm resistor. We're dealing with a 5 volt power supply right there, and it's on right now. So current's limited to uh, 40 milliamps or less, and uh, this will be less than 30 milliamps. So that'll be plenty fine. So 220 ohm, positive supply to that jumper, and there you can see the LED is on. So if you're using a higher voltage, you'd want to use a higher value resistor. Uh, keep current under 20 milliamps for the LED and under a quarter watt for a quarter watt resistor. And uh, uh, stuff you should know already. So now we're going to grab a transistor. So this is a 2N2222. I just happened to find a couple of these before I found 2N3904s. So we're looking at the flat side. I don't think it's really showing up, but uh, there we go. The left pin's the emitter, middle pin the base, right pin collector. So emitter is the arrow. If I turn it this way, it lines up with what we see on uh, the schematic right there. So the top pin, the collector, I'm going to put to the orange jumper right there. The other NPN bipolar junction transistor, again, a 2N2222. Same pin layout, looking at the flat side, swivel it that way. Now the emitter is at the bottom, base in the middle, collector on top, like we see there. So collector is going to the emitter right there, the, the emitter of that transistor. The emitter down here is going to the negative rail, our ground. Now, to uh, give the signal from the switch to the base, we want to limit current because otherwise it would be positive going directly to the base and then to uh, ground. So there'd be a diode drop, but that's not enough to uh, protect things. So that side of the switch, we're going to put a 10 kilo ohm resistor to uh, both of those. So that's a pretty good value to use over a wide range of voltages, 10 kilo ohms. And uh, going to the middle pin, the base. Okay, looks like you can see that pretty good. And uh, now we'll grab this one. Push them forward. Make sure I get to the switch and then the middle pin, the base. So there we go. You can see right there. We are to the base. And that is it for our uh, circuit. Wire it up right there. And uh, we'll zoom back and take a look at everything. So right now, both inputs are low or off. Since it switches here, off works better even though it's transistors. But uh, there we go, we got one, and now we got the other. If we do both at the same time though, so both inputs are on, now the LED, the output is off. And uh, so that's really all there is to that circuit. So you may never build this circuit to do something practical, but when you're studying electronics, you're gonna see a lot of similar stuff. Uh, like this. So understanding this circuit will help you understand them. There you can see we have a path that way. If that transistor is off, it's as if all this circuitry doesn't exist. If that transistor is off, and even if you try to turn that one on, this one's off. No current's going to flow through there. No current's going to flow through there. 
and of course if this one's off you turn that one on a little bit of current will trickle through there but that won't affect the output at all so you need that on and that on that makes a direct connection to ground when they're on when they're saturated and it drains away practically all the voltage from the output there may be a tiny bit but when it comes to digital electronics things are either completely on or uh, completely off and uh, this LED is completely off when you do both of those so hopefully that all made sense make sure you check out one of my other videos click like subscribe the bell and all that check out my patreon link down in the description or all my links down in the description that would help out a lot i'll see you in the next video